Well, good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful morning in Florida. We call this fall. Uh, you know, isn't that funny? It's in the low 80s, so to us, that's very autumnal. Um, Chris Houghton is coming to us from London, where it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so he has no excuse for being tired. He's been up and running around forever, and we really appreciate it. Um, you know him from all of his other books. Oh, no, George and Shh. So this is a delightful, yes, absolutely. This is a delightful story. Maybe I loved this book and you'll see why when uh, Chris talks to you about it. It's kind of like so perfect for kids. They're told not to do something and then they immediately go, well, maybe if I just did this, it would all just be okay, right? So I'm going to go away and let Chris talk to you about the book and, and read it to you and um, delight you. So have a wonderful morning together and I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Rona. Thanks, Rona. Thanks, Rona. Thanks, Rona. Thanks, Rona. Thanks, Rona. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Um, 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 I, I hope you can hear me okay. I think there's a bit of a um, uh, reverb there. Um, well, what I can do is uh, read the book, and then I'm going to turn this down a little bit so that there's no reverb. I hope that's okay. Let, let me know in the comments if, if you can hear me okay. Um, so my name is, is Chris Houghton and I'm an author and illustrator, which um, means that I write and then draw all the stories uh, in these books. And I have these are some of the books that I've done uh, behind me here. And this one is called Maybe, and it's, it's, it's just out now. And it's about uh, these three very naughty monkeys. So uh, maybe I'll just start with the book and then I'll show you some of the art uh, that I've done and um, you know we, we, we can we can have some fun maybe drawing later. So uh, it starts off with these three funny monkeys and they live up at the very top of the tree like this. Uh, right up there in, in the forest. And what happens? Okay, monkeys, I'm off. Now remember, whatever you do, do not go down to the mango tree. There are tigers down there. So there they are. It's a pity we can't go down to the mango tree. Yeah, I love mangoes. That is a pity. Hmm, maybe, maybe we could just look at the mangoes. That'd be okay, right? Is that a good idea? What do you guys think? Any tigers here? No. Any tigers there? No. No tigers anywhere. It's safe. Down, down, down to the trees below. And look. They're looking down here but can anyone see something hidden in the undergrowth look look at all this all these mangoes so many mangoes oh there's one within reach just over there Can anyone see something else in the in the in the picture? Anyone else? Uh oh. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe we could just get that little one. We'd keep a close lookout. That'd be okay, right? Is that okay? Uh, 
Any tigers here? No. Any tigers there? No. No tigers anywhere. It's safe. Quick as a flash, down, grab the mango, climb back up. Can anyone see something in the background? <laughs> uh oh. Mmm, mango, so sweet, so juicy. I wish we had another one, though. Hmm, maybe, maybe we could just go down there anyway. If there were any tigers around, we'd have seen them by now. Right? That's true. Down, down, down. All the way down to the ground. No tigers here. You see, there's no tigers here. No, no tigers there. No tigers anywhere and look all the mangoes mm, so tasty so delicious wait did i hear something Tigers! Uh-oh. Tricky situation. What's gonna happen? Let's see. Run! Quick, quick, quick. They're right behind us. They're running as fast as they can. But tigers can run pretty fast, too. Are they going to get away? Let's see. Jump! Quick, quick, quick. They're catching up. They're jumping over here. Under the tree. Trying to get up the trees. And this poor little one. Oh, my goodness. These great big paws. They're going to get the, the tiny little monkey. Let's see. <gasps> Climb. Quick, quick, quick. They're going to get us. Oh, my goodness. Look at those huge, big teeth. All these teeth down here. And this little toe. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What is going to happen? Do you think they're going to get away? Let's see. <gasps> they made it. Oh, it's lucky you're all the way up here. Did you see? There are tigers everywhere down there. Yes, it is lucky. It is lucky, isn't it? Well... We'll have to stay up here now. We can't go anywhere. Not even to the bananas. There are bananas. <laughs> I love bananas. Hmm. Maybe. So... Do you think they're going to go and get the bananas? Maybe. I hope not. <laughs> um, hold on a second. I'm just going to plug in my earphones so uh, there's no reverb. So um, thank you very much for the for the applause. <laughs> um, I'm I'm going to show you um, some of my drawings, uh, how I how I drew the drawings uh, uh, and made the collages.
and um, maybe we could do some drawings ourselves. So let me see. Uh, you can't hear them, Chris, but they're applauding. Let me show you this. So this is how I made the drawings. I actually used cut paper and he, here are some monkeys jumping through the forest. Uh, and I used tiny bits of black paper and I, I tore them up and stuck them down. And um, that's how I made the, the monkey's fur and uh, how I, I did all the drawings. And then I'm gonna show you, this is, this is the scene where they go down all the way down to the ground. And you might be able to see here, I, what I do is I only stick the, the, the faces and, and the arms on very loosely so I can angle them sometimes. Sometimes I think, oh, that looks better like that. Or maybe it looks better looking down or this sort of thing. So I, I, can, I can change uh, everything as I'm working and it, it makes it much easier. So it's a, a really fun thing to do. Um, and you, you get to have lots of fun with cutting paper out with scissors. Um, so that's kind of how I made all of the artwork. This is the one where they're running away. Oh my goodness, running away from the tigers. And um, that's kind of how I made the artwork. And actually, you guys, um, depending on how good you are with scissors, you can actually make your own um, artwork from worksheets that I have on my website. So this one's on my website uh, and you can download and print that. And this, this one is a bird from another book and it's got uh, lots of different bird's feet here, uh, some feathers, some a big eye, uh, body, uh, more eyes over here. So you can cut those out and make all of the different shapes and stick them down and uh, make your own birds. Or you can just cut out shapes from magazines and newspapers and uh, colors and stick them down and make your own um, bird or monkey or, or, or whatever you'd like. Um, so what else? Oh, and for the slightly older children, this is, a, I have lots and lots of uh, worksheets uh, on my website. This one, you can download this and you can make a fun little owl, uh, moving owl toy out of one piece of A4. So this is a little owl flapping its wings like this. And this is based on another one of my books uh, called Little Owl Lost. So there's plenty of things to do, to do on there on a rainy day, like it is uh, today in London. Um, so um, either I could do a drawing now, or maybe um, I could, oh, actually what, what, what I'll do is I, I will show you my drawings from uh, uh, when I was a very young child uh, now and um, uh, then maybe we can do a dance and then I can do a drawing and then we'll have time to read one last story. Um, if anyone has any preference for which story they'd like to, to hear, uh, write it in, in, the, in the chat and uh, we can uh, decide which story we'd like to finish on. So let me switch over here. Um, so the... These are my other books, and um, I'm going to, oops. Can everybody see a squirrel uh, on the screen? That is, um, in all of my books, somewhere hidden, there's a squirrel. Because when I was a, 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 a young boy, uh, squirrels were my favorite animals and I used to love drawing them and so I've hidden a squirrel in all of the books so if you if you get a, a, any of my books out in the library or you have any at home have a look out for a hidden squirrel um, 
And uh, so I used to love drawing when I was your age. When I think I drew this when I was about six or seven. I think um, maybe in Sunday school or something like that. I don't know. Uh, it's called The Last Supper. And it was based on Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper. I'm going to show you Leonardo da Vinci's version now. Uh, that's Leonardo da Vinci's version. Leonardo is a much more famous artist than me. Um, but if you look at these two drawings, I can't, it's, it's very difficult to see any difference, isn't it? <laughs> uh, just a few slight uh, differences. So, uh, yeah, ho hopefully I'll be just as famous as Leonardo da Vinci um, uh, in a few hundred years. Um, so, this is um, uh, a fun little app thing that I do, and it's great for a dance. Uh, so um, I often like to do dances in the middle of my uh, talks so that uh, we you know, get some dancing done before we read another story. So if you'd like to join me, um, let's, let's do a dance. So let's see. So let's see. So let's see. So we move our hands. Clap hands. Move your feet. Move your feet. And pirouette. Pirouette. And then a robot. a robot. And play the trombone or a musical instrument. All together. Wave your hands. Clap. Move your feet. The pirouette. Robot. And the trombone. Okay, very good. Um, let me switch back. So, there we go. Um, Maybe I will do a little drawing. Uh, maybe I can do a monkey, and then we can um, uh, read one last story. How about, how about that? Um, so if you guys have uh, pens and paper at home, um, you can follow me with this, uh, this monkey drawing. All you need is a pen and uh, paper. I'm going to do it on a, a large... Uh, piece of paper so that you can see, but just any small piece of paper or sketchbook or whatever. Um, uh, I always uh, have a sketchbook um, and I just have a sketchbook all around me. Um, and whenever I come up with an idea or I'm just uh, sitting on the train, I can come up with, I can do some sketches and do some drawings and uh, put my ideas in there. It's a great fun thing to do. I started doing it when I was in secondary school and I've kept all of my sketchbooks. I really wish I had sketchbooks from when I was very, very young. So it'd be a really fun thing to do, uh, to start doing uh, now. If you haven't, uh, just get yourself a sketchbook and uh, uh, jot your ideas down. It'd be very fun. So I'm gonna start off with a circle around about over, maybe over here. That's gonna be the eye for the monkey. So, so around about here. Everybody see that? And then we need a little dot for the eye. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have that. The pupil. So the monkey is going to be looking down somewhere down this way, probably looking for bananas, some sort of fruit. 
not uh, not listening to their uh, their mom or their dad. So then we need a little nose, and I draw the little nose like this, like a little Y, like that. And then we draw this up like this, all the way around, and connect it like that. So you can kind of see the face there, little face, a uh, little nose, little eye, and we need a, a, a an ear. And these monkeys have very big ears, so I'm going to make the ear almost as big as the whole head. Like that. Okay. And then we need we need some arms. So maybe arm will come down like this, something like that. And let will see at the, the other arm, and then like that. And the fingers will be something like this. And then for the other hand, like that and then just the other part of that around there okay and the back so we'll go around like this uh, and then we, we're going to do the back leg so he sort of curls up like this And then, of course, the, the feet. Let's do it. He curls toes like that. There we go. So nearly finished. Just needs one last thing. What do we need? I think we need a tail, don't we? We need a very long funny tail. So the, the tail is going to be like an S. I'm going to do a giant big S. I'm going to start all the way up here. And I'm going to go all the way down. Like that. That is a big tail, isn't it? And then do the other side of the tail. Come down. There we go. And this is the branch monkey sitting on. There we go. Monkey looking for bananas, I think. So there we go. That's uh, that's the drawing. And maybe we have time for one last story. What do you guys think? Have you got any um, any suggestions for, for the story? I have five other stories here. I have one about a dog called Oh No George. I have, this is the little owl, little owl lost or a bit lost. It's called over here. Um, shh, we have a plan. Uh, don't worry, little crab. Or good night, everyone. Going to sleep. Um, any any decisions? Let's see. I'm gonna let's see if I can. Oh, I can't. I can't see the uh, comments, guys. I'm gonna turn off the sound. So um, I tell you what I'll do. I'll I'll read. Uh, shh, we have a plan. So, turn this right off. So this one starts off with these four funny characters. And here they are. They're going through the forest like this. 
and what do they see? Look, a bird. Can you see the bird? See that bird, very colorful bird. What are they gonna do? Hello, birdie. What's their plan? They got a cage? Let's see. Tiptoe slowly. Tiptoe slowly. Now stop. Shh. Ready one. Ready two. Ready three. Are they going to get to the bird? Let's see. Go! They missed. Where is the birdie gone? Look, up there. Hello, birdie. What's the plan this time? I think they have a ladder. What are they gonna do? These funny fellas. Climbing slowly, climbing slowly. Now stop. Shh. Ready one, ready two, ready three. Nearly about to get the bird. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Ready? Go. Oh dear. Oh dear. Never mind. Falling out of the tree. They're gonna hurt themselves. Birdie gets away. Where's the birdie gone now? Look. Can you see? Look, down there. Hello, birdie. Shh, shh, we have a plan. What's the plan this time? They've got a log. What are they gonna do this time? Let's see. Paddling slowly. Paddling slowly. Now stop. Shh. Ready one. Ready two. Ready three. Let's see. Are they gonna get the birds? Go! They fell again. And the birdie got away. Hello, birdie. Would you like some bread? One, two, three. Look. Oh my goodness, look at all those birds. Oh, these funny guys are back. Ready one. Ready two. Ready, uh-oh. Too many birds, isn't there? They look very angry. Ready one, ready two, ready. Run away. All these angry birds. So off they go again through the forest. Let's see. 
Look, a squirrel. Shh, we have a plan. <laughs> so, are they going to catch the squirrel? I think they're going to try, but I don't think they're going to succeed. Um, so, um, there we go. I'm going to, um, I can't actually hear you because I keep getting the sound. I'm not sure what, what, what's, what's going on here. But um, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, let me know uh, if you have any questions, please write it in the chat and um, let's see if we've got any questions. I'm going to turn on the sound. Yeah. Hello. What a treat. So you've been wide awake for a while, but now you've got us all going. I want to, um, if people have questions, please write them in. So on this platform, you can hear us, but we can hear you. So I want to embarrassingly show you my monkey. Well, thank you very much for making me an artiste for the morning. And what I wanted to invite people to do is, you know, we always, I'm very lucky, we always have art to decorate Miss Rona's door at, uh, to my office. And we've just shifted to autumn and pumpkins and leaves. And so there's a big tree on my door. So I invite you all to draw your monkey and bring your monkey and you can cut it out because Chris is big on, you know, paper and scissors, cut it out, draw it, you know, any colors you want. They don't have to be monkey colors. They can be whatever color you want. And we'll put it in the tree. Um, and, and it'll be part of my decoration. So thank you for that. I was looking for something uh, wonderful to put on my tree. I, I did want to ask you, since you have such a sense of wonderment and, and, and excitement, when did you decide that your love for art was going to be um, in children's books? It seems like the perfect match, but. Yeah, I always loved ch children's books. Um, but I just never thought I could come up with a sort of a, 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 a story idea. I, I, I loved drawing and I, I wanted to do a, a, a children's book, but I just couldn't come up with a story. And then I realized, oh, maybe I can kind of try and tell the story through, um, through illustration nearly, or, almost entirely. And once I realized that, then I found writing much easier for me. But you do have such an amazing way to get inside the head of a child. I mean, the notion of Shh, we have a plan or mm, I just still love the maybe one, you know, maybe it'd be all right if we just did this little thing. And then when you turn the book and make it vertical, it's all just too perfect. So uh, <laughs> I, I think your storytelling ability deserves more credit than, than you think, because the illustrations certainly tell the story, but the stories are wonderful. Oh, well, you're very kind. Th thank you very much. Um, I, I, I thoroughly in, enjoy it. And it's, yeah, I'm just so grateful to have such an amazing uh, job. It's, it's, uh, it's always so much fun, both the, the, the making the books and, and then uh, reading them out. It's, yeah, it's, th there's nothing better. Well, if anybody else has a question, I'm sure Chris would be happy um, to answer it. Otherwise, we'll let him get on with his day. It's the middle of the day. I'm sorry it's dreary there. Um, people are saying thank you. They had so much fun. And I, and I do appreciate your joining us from so far away. And I hope things are um, safe there and that you can stay healthy and keep giving us some wonderment in life and delight. And I personally have very little creative artistic talent, but I feel very empowered today. Thank you very much. <laughs> you did an amazing monkey. I, I, I love it. Um, so yeah, no. I, I may, I may, you know, I may improve upon him. You don't know. <laughs> get get, get your young. scissors out. It's so much fun cutting things up with scissors and sticking it down. That's that's the funnest part. Um, I, I but, think the, Thank you for all the work you're doing in, in the uh, bookstore. And uh, yeah, hopefully one day maybe I can visit. We would love to have you. Please come see us. We're um, right on the ocean. So as soon as you get across the ocean, you'll be right there. So you won't even have to go that far. OK, I, I'll, I'll just get when I'm swimming over, I'll, I'll, I'll just uh, 
just get up and then knock on the door. <laughs> just come ashore and it's about half a block and we'll let you in. We'll have a towel for you and it'll be great. <laughs> okay, easy. Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and thank you to everyone for joining us. And, and we really appreciate you and everything that you do for books and for reading and for children and for us adults who still want to be children. Oh, uh, you're very kind. Well, th thank you too. And uh, thanks everyone in Florida. Have a great day. All the best, you too.